Hi everyone, this is just a quick video that I wanted to make. I didn't originally plan to make this, but I just decided to make it. So it is about a nail polish, and this is an Essie nail polish, and the color is Lollipop. And I got this last winter, so it's, um, I guess, winter 2009 collection or something like that. I don't know, but basically it's about a year old. And so I just want to make a video about this because I'm so frustrated and disappointed with this. And I was just really not expecting that. I mean, this is an Estee nail polish. And these are $8 in Ulta. And I don't know if Sephora sells them. But yeah, this is $8. And I just don't think that it's a good nail polish for $8. So... When I was applying it, applying it is very easy, it's very smooth. I put on two coats and that was enough. And like I said, it went on very smoothly, very easy, applying it was no problem at all. When it came to drying, it took such a long time to dry. It really irritated me. And see, when it was drying, it turned into like a gel like substance substance gel like substance um it had a gel like texture or what's the word i'm looking for gel like oh what's that word i think so okay this is embarrassing consistency that's the word it had a gel like consistency and it was just so annoying and it really it was really weird because you know it's it's not a gel nail polish so I don't know why it like turned into a gel and so that made it took made it take a really long time to dry and when I accidentally touched it it left my fingerprints on my nail like it just had fingerprints and after that I don't know how much later I'll say maybe it was like at least an hour um, I painted my nails like kind of in the evening and just, you know, up until I fell asleep, which I don't really know how long that took. I don't know how long I had it on, but it was at least an hour. I mean, you would think it'd be dry by then. And it kind of, like, it was dry, but it still felt like a gel. So when something would touch it, it would just kind of, like, move the nail polish. And it had, like, little lines and dents and creases from, like, things that touched it. And it was just so... It was just really strange and it just did not look good at all with fingerprints and smudges and like dents in the nail polish. It just really was very irritating and just really annoying. I was super disappointed. And I painted my nails two days ago and it's starting to chip a bit at the tips but it's really not a lot. It's not enough to actually really bother me. So it's just a really tiny amount of chipping. And also, this nail polish leaves marks on paper from my nails. If I accidentally rubbed or swiped my nail on a piece of paper, then it would leave a red mark on the piece of paper. So, I have a note card here to show you. So, I'm just going to take my nail and just rub it. And there is a little red mark. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but it's... It's there, like, see? Will that show up? I can't tell if it's showing up, but there are red, little red lines on my note card now. From just, like, rubbing my nail on it, just like that. Which is really annoying, because all day at school, you know, I'm writing or something, then my paper will have red marks on it. And it's so annoying. I mean, seriously, I don't know if this is showing up, but it's pretty crazy. I mean... And that. Okay, so that's showing up, right? Yeah. So you saw, I just swiped it like that and it leaves red marks. So definitely for $8, I do not think this is a good nail polish. And you know, the color, I don't know, I kind of like the color, but then I kind of don't. Um, but I'm definitely painting my nails today, getting rid of this. I just, I really don't like it. I mean, $8, seriously, this is not good for $8. At all. Now it's this point because you know this is SC and that's like a good brand and I just really don't like the nail polish and at first 
I kind of liked it. I had it in a favorites video. I don't know why I liked it when I got it. That was the first time I used it and then I just put it in the favorites video, but you know, I take that back. And yeah, I was writing a blog post about this, so that's why I decided to make a video about it. So yeah, I just wanted to say that because I'm so frustrated with that nail polish. So thank you for watching and I hope I helped you in some way just, you know, by saying kind of that this isn't really that good. So if you get it, so you might not like it. So yeah. So bye.